So CNN went after Fox News and wind up exposing themselves. I'm not joking. My name is Nate Laurie. If you are new here, we talk about the law and the facts. If you are about that life, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Brian Stelter is going to tell us about a fascinating new report that just came out from a couple of researchers looking at politically motivated stories in media. Let Brian, here's Brian, he's going to explain to us what we're about to see. Is it possible to make Fox News viewers change their minds about key issues just by having them change the channel? That's what a new study suggests. It's titled The Manifold Effects of Partisan Media on Viewers' Beliefs and Attitudes. The researchers paid some Fox News fans to watch CNN for 30 days, and then they asked them some questions. The results are fascinating. So let's bring in David Brockman and Joshua Callow. They conducted the study in September of 2020, and it's just been published this week. Uh, there are a couple of things that I need to mention to you before we even move on with this video. Brian has set it up to make Fox News look like the bad guy, right? He set it up to make Fox News look horrible, look bad, and CNN looks good, right? This is what happens when they paid Fox News viewers to watch CNN. But the study actually paid CNN viewers to watch Fox News. So what the study does is say, let's take CNN viewers and Fox News viewers and pay them to watch the other channel and see what, and essentially see what happens. See what they think about the coverage, that type of thing. But Brian is specifically leaving out the fact that CNN was also a part of the study because the results make it look like make it look bad for Fox News. So those bad results, Brian wants to just attribute all to Fox News, and he doesn't want to he doesn't want the audience, the, the CNN audience, to know that CNN was actually studied and was found to be just as horrible as Fox News. They show us what Fox News is showing their audience versus what. CNN is showing their audience. And this is actually interesting. So here are the top 10 Fox subtopics. Now, what they did was saying, okay, how many times they took transcripts of all their shows and said, well, how many times were these things mentioned? And how many times were people talking about these things? So this is the ones that were good for Republicans, but bad for Democrats. Let's see. Biden, Democrat support for extreme radical ideology protest. They mentioned that like 15,000 times. Negative consequences of extreme radical ideology protests, violence. The Fox News is just just feeding them all that all the time. He just keep violent protests. Feed it, feed them, feed them. Information downplaying severity of COVID-19. Feed them, feed them. So all this stuff is feeding them. And as you can see, CNN's barely mentioning this stuff. Biden embracing far left. CNN barely mentioned that any time. But Fox News is mentioning, is mentioning that more than almost 5,000 times over this period. And, you know, pro-Trump stuff. Trump's actually advanced racial equality. 5,000 times barely mentioned on CNN. The only thing you get here, reports of the existence of BLM protests. CNN shows it more. More, and Fox News shows it left. So we start seeing, like, you know, these are the stories that Fox News has picked and is just pushing it out to their viewers. And CNN's not talking about these same issues, or even if they are talking about it, it's just very, they'll, they'll mention it a couple of times, and then you'll never hear about it again. Let's see what CNN watchers are watching. So here it is. Their big thing is Trump's failures to protect the U.S. and his supporters from COVID-19. Now that is 20,000. They, they just, they just totally killing their audience with that. This is what you guys need to know. Fox News, they, they barely mentioned it. Information indicating the severity of COVID-19. But as you can see, CNN is blasting it. It's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. 10,000 times, right? One of their biggest issues. And when you can read through all this, you'll, you'll see. It's interesting to see how CNN is making its topics for its left-wing audience and Fox News is getting its topics for its right-wing audience. Now, just so we're on the same page, a study found that Fox News and CNN, their news coverage was based purely, about purely on, on political ideology. And here's the researchers giving us the key findings of their report. And, uh, I think the real key finding here from our perspective is essentially that we find that partisan media is sort of hiding information from voters. And I think there's kind of an analogy to Putin's Russia, where right now, Russians, we know, are not getting all the information about what's actually happening in Ukraine. And in the same way that we found during the Trump presidency, uh, those watching Fox News weren't getting all the information about what was really happening, for example, with COVID and otherwise in the Trump administration, that then they started seeing on CNN and they said, oh, wow, I had no idea. I didn't know all this because Fox News wasn't telling me. So clear as day, right? They're saying that when people watched the other side, so when the Fox News viewer watched CNN, they were seeing stories that 
Fox News wasn't telling them because they were bad for Republicans. And then when you had the CNN viewers watch Fox News, they started noticing stories that were bad to Democrats because CNN wasn't telling them. Why does this matter? Well, most people out there, like even myself, had assumed that when you say news, that they weren't giving you this politically cited opinion stuff, right? And what do I mean by news? All right, so just so we're all on the same page, crazy that I even have to do this. What is news? News is something happens and someone then reports on what happened, right? So car accident. Here's a car accident. This is what happened. Blah, 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 blah. No matter who's involved, whatever, that's just the news. The news are a factual retelling of events so you can be in the know. You can know what's going on. But this is where I think is happening when it comes to Fox and CNN. If a Republican's in that car accident, they're probably not going to report it, right, if you're Fox News. A Democrat's in that car accident, and it may hurt them politically. CNN's probably not going to report that. That is where we're starting to get this politically motivated news, right? So... I want to give you all the stuff that's going to make my side look good, make the other side look bad, and then call it news, right? Pretend that it's neutral. Pretend that these are just things that are going on that I'm reporting. It's all political. That I'm just not giving you news. I'm giving you opinions and just coaching it as news. And the key part about this, this is true for both Fox News and CNN. This is not something that's just unique to Fox News. It's true for both. So Brian Stelter wants to make this study all about Fox News and how Fox News is biased and is bad. Listen to this question very carefully that he's about to ask. So Josh, you all call this partisan coverage filtering. Um, and it, basically you're proving what we've sensed for a while, which is Fox viewers are in the dark about bad news for the GOP. That's right. So Brian is now making CNN the good guy, right? This is what we've been saying for years. Fox News is hiding bad news about the GOP, right? So that is what now Brian is there. He's in the middle. He's like, yes, we got him. I got data. I got evidence. Fox News is horrible. But this researcher who has to have some academic integrity is going to correct Brian to say, uh, not so fast, not so fast. This is not just about Fox News. This is also about CNN. Check it out. And cover different issues. And Fox News predominantly covers issues that, that make the GOP look good and, and make Democrats look bad. And, and on the flip side, CNN en engages in this partisan coverage filtering as, as well that we find. For example, during this time, the Abraham Accords were signed. And these were the agreements where Israel, the UAE, and Bahrain signed a, a major peace agreement. And we see that Fox News covered this really major accomplishment about 15 times more than, than CNN did. So we establish both networks are, are really engaging in this partisan coverage filtering. It's, it's not about one side, it's about the media writ large. Clear as day, right? Clear as day. This is not about one side or the other. This is about the media writ large, right? No matter what side of the aisle you're on, the media is taking the news and filtering it so you can only see stories to promote their ideology be it Fox News or CNN, right? This is not about one, or one side or the other. Watch how Brian responds to this factual, critical analysis of what's happening with CNN and Fox News. I think you're engaging in some both sidesism there, Josh. Now, all those facts, all this evidence, all this data, the whole study was built around paying people to watch CNN and paying people to watch Fox News. And this guy just says, here are the results of the study. And Brian Instead of just acknowledging that the study is about both Fox News and CNN, oh, that's interesting, he now says this guy is committing both sidesism, making it seem like it's essentially it's whataboutism, right? What about CNN? What about Fox News, right? This one, this side does something bad. What about the other side? But they're not doing that, right? Brought them on to talk about the study. They're talking about the study, but I don't think Brian likes the fact that the study implicates how bad CNN is just like it implicates how bad Fox News is. So let's see the researcher explain it to Brian one more time. Not trying to lay out a, a moral equivalency. It's, it's not about what an objective standard is. It's really about how all networks do engage in this. And in order for viewers to get a, a realistic picture of the world, we, we need viewers to see all types of information. And unfortunately, what we find in this study is that the viewers don't want to engage in, in watching all sides. So as David mentioned, we see that viewers, we pay them for four weeks to, to watch CNN, but then after those payments stop, they, they go back to watching Fox News. So mm -hmm. <laughs> even though we try to incentivize viewers to watch both Fox and, and CNN, they don't want to, to engage in that, that hard work. Mm -hmm. they, they want to really just 
watch the side that makes them feel good. Uh, and this is why the media has such an important responsibility to, to cover both sides, to, to hold both parties accountable. Now, it's interesting because I think at this point in this interview or in this presentation, Brian wants them to actually filter the information or their findings to support his narrative that Fox News is bad and that CNN is good. But the data shows that CNN is just as bad. The news should be, here are the facts, you decide what they mean. But that's not what it is right now. Do you think Brian is ignorant to the fact that his news organization is so left-leaning? Or do you think he knows that they're left-leaning, but he's trying to hide that fact from the viewer? Let me know in the comments section. My name is Nate Deloy, and I'll see you next time. Peace.